Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Well, let's take this. Yeah, see that's aluminum. See there's one of my, my neodymium magnets that I use so I can put stuff up here. I um, I got this little uh, omomagnets.com. I think it was like $20 or something. You get a case of these little magnets. <laughs> These things are stupid fun. Uh, be careful though, if you let them come back too hard, uh, these things are uh, a little brittle uh, as far as magnets go. Most magnets are, are brittle. These can be especially so. But uh, just to give you an idea how strong neodymium is, I mean, there's just, there's no way you're gonna see that kind of, whoa, I want you to zoom over just yet. There we go. Who's your buddy? Who's your pet? Look at that magnetic field. Look how far that is. That is. So, you know, put that right. Okay, apparently, <laughs> apparently putting metal next to metal is stupid. Die. I think I've been hanging out with Yogi too much. He has all the good honey mead though. All right, so. There's our starting point. And we come up here and we'll stop when we get. Actually, let's do this. We'll turn it sideways so we'll see the first. Oh, it's already affecting it. Look at that. So, when the field first encounters it, there we go. Okay, that's our first field encounter. And we'll mark that right there. And then we get full. Thinking about it. He wants it. There we go. Right there. Alright. Where's the tiny little field at just over four inches? Actual attraction at two. Which for magnetic fields, as you know, they they multiply exponentially as they uh, as you get closer. Man. I can play with these things all day. Oh, we're so much fun. So anyway, oh yeah, I was showing. So the, the steps, all right, I keep my broken pieces on this side and the working pieces over here in the pan, let's retrieve those, put those in there. Come on, stop being a cuss. There we go. Other things I use on. So this is my uh, activator for super glue. I put one on there, super glued it. One on there, and on the end of my pen. So now I can just clip them all to the metal that this is on. This is that typical Harbor Freight workbench.